I wanted to talk to you guys about this. It's actually Appliant Epoxy or Appliant Paint by Rust-Oleum. So basically if you look at this refrigerator, you can tell that it's got a lot of yellowing going on and that just makes it look really bad. I'm going to move the camera around and I apologize. But as you can tell up here, it's pretty much white except for this one yellow spot up here. And I was trying to figure out what to do. I really didn't want to throw away a perfectly good working fridge, but I couldn't leave it yellow like this. And a friend of mine recommended this appliance paint. So the cool thing about this is they have it in white and black, and I've also used a blue for hot water heaters. So that's kind of nice too. But here we're gonna use it for this refrigerator and I'm gonna take you through this and we should be able to get this fridge looking a little better. So I've already tested it on a couple spots and when you initially put it on, it definitely blends in with the existing white color. Um, it does help if you cover the whole surface. I mean, that's what it says in the instructions to just paint the whole thing so you can't tell one spot from another. But yeah, once you put it on, the texture feels a little off but after you wipe it down, after you let it dry, the texture actually comes back smooth and it's just the finish that you're looking for. So if you're trying to restore your white refrigerator back to the color white, for a few bucks, you can get this Rust-Oleum paint from, um, I got this from Lowe's. You can get it from Lowe's, Home Depot. Uh, I'm sure Amazon has it too. I'll see if I can find it on Amazon and put a link below just so you can see the product and maybe buy it there if you want it shipped to you. So yeah, after I've painted the refrigerator, I'm going to show you what the end product looks like. So stick around for that as well. It's definitely one of these rattle cans. So I'm going to go ahead and touch this freezer spot real quick, actually, before turning on a fan or something that's loud. So you just spray it on just like spray paint. Oh yeah, it smells just like spray paint too. Oh, that color is just perfect. So I showed you this yellow spot earlier, but now it's just white. Obviously you can see with the camera that the paint is still wet and you would want to make sure to get any kind of drips, but that's it. That's just perfectly white now. Don't hold my spraying technique against me, if you don't mind. I'm really hoping this paint and we'll do this whole, uh, honestly, the whole fridge, but, you know, I'm just going to start taking it out. Is that a bubble? Yeah, it's a bubble. And I got little, little blotches everywhere. I'm trying to do little blotches out. Yeah, I definitely recommend having a paper towel on hand before you do this. Definitely just kind of stay back and take your time. You don't want to bubble it up and then have to pat it out like I did. That doesn't look perfect over there. And I could use acetone and go back over it and really make it look perfect. Look at this handle because it's kind of dingy, honestly. Not even because it's yellow, it's just dingy. I still have to make sure this stuff looks. All right. All right. So with this zoomed out shot, you can definitely see the yellow on the side of the fridge. So let me go ahead and hit this. and it's gone, like magic. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray the rest of the fridge. All right, and there you have it. Now it is a white refrigerator instead of a white and yellow refrigerator. So appliance epoxy paint, it works really well. Um, it also works really well on yourself if you wanna get painted white. But anyways, yeah, so I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find this. And I definitely recommend it for making your white appliances white again. And you can also use it to make your black appliances black again. Anyways, thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you next time.